What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we've got a really challenging lesson. We are looking at how to divide decimals by decimals. So let's waste no time, let's go. What do we need to remember today? Well, we need to remember that the divisor has to be a whole number. So first of all, let's just understand what our divisor is with our first example here. I have 13.5 divided by 0 0.5. So we need to know what these parts of the question are. The number on the outside is the divisor. This is what needs to be a whole number. And the number on the inside is the dividend. It doesn't matter if the dividend is a decimal. So knowing that, let's look into question one. Question one, 13.5 divided by 0 0.5. Well, the divisor has to be a whole number. And at the moment, our divisor is a decimal. So what can we do to this decimal to turn it into a whole number? Well, I could multiply it by 10. Multiplying it by 10 would mean that 0 0.5 becomes just 5. But if I'm going to do that to my divisor, I also need to do that to the dividend to keep my question equivalent. And the way I'm going to do that to my dividend is also multiply it by 10. So 13.5 would become 135. So let's tidy this up with our new numbers inside our bus stop. There we go. And now I'm just going to use long method to help me solve this question. How many fives are there in one? Zero. And then how many have I just taken away? Let's check. Zero times five is zero. So one subtract my zero still leaves me with one. Drag down my next number, which is a three. So now I have a question of 13 divided by five. 13 divided by 5 is 2, but now when I have my 2 multiplied by 5, I have 10. Therefore, 13 subtract 10 leaves me with 3. Drag down my next number, which is a 5. How many 5s are there in 35? We have 7. So my answer to 13.5 divided by 0 0.5 is 27. Because the answer to 135 divided by 5 is also 27 and these two questions are equivalent awesome let's look at an orange chili challenge now i have 18.4 divided that's meant to say obviously by 1.6 so let's put my 18.4 inside my bus stop and then 1.6 outside but i can see that i have a decimal as my divisor and i don't want that so i'm gonna to have to multiply it by 10 to get to 16. But if I'm going to do that, I need to also multiply my 18.4 by 10, and that's going to turn it into 184. Now I simply start, how many 16s in 1? Well, there's 0, and 0 times 16 is 0. 1 subtract my 0 is 1. Bring down my 8, 18. How many 16s are there in 18? There's 1. How many did we just take away? Let's check by doing 1 times 16 is 16. That leaves me with 2. And then when I bring down my 4, I have 24. How many 16s in 24? I have one. And then let's check how many I just took away by doing one times 16 is 16. 24, subtract my 16, leaves me with eight. Now I can't just put remainder eight because that's very amateur. When we're working in decimals, we wanna give a decimal answer. So I wanna see what this remainder eight looks like as a decimal. And I'm gonna do that by adding a decimal and a zero, which does not change the value of my 184. But now it means I can bring down that zero and have now 80 to work with. Now I'm looking for how many 16s there are in 80. Well, I think there's five whole groups. But I must remember that if I now have a decimal on this line, I need to bring it up and put it on my answer row as well. Let's check how many I just took away. 5 times 16 is 80. 80 subtract 80 leaves me the magic zero. So my answer is 11.5. Let's see how hard this can get with a red chili challenge. I have 82.9 divided by 4.5. So let's put it back into the bus stop. 82.9 divided by 4.5. Well, I'm gonna make my 4.5 10 times bigger by turning it to 45. And I'm gonna make my 82.9 also 10 times bigger by getting rid of the decimal and making it at 829. Let's start with my long method. How many 45s in 8? 0, of course. And, and 0 times 45 is 0. 8 subtract 0 leaves me with the 8. Bring down my 2. 
and now I have 82. How many 45s in 82? There's one. And now I want to see how many I took away by doing one times 45 is 45. 82 subtract 45 leaves me with 37 and bring down my next digit. I now have 379. Now I need to work out how many 45s there are in 379. So what I could do is draw out my 45 times table. 45, 90, 135, 180, 225, 270, 315, 360, and then 405 would be too much. So I know I have 360, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups. And let's see what 8 times 45 is. It should be 360, which it is. 379, subtract my 360, leaves me with 19. Now I need to put a decimal place in point and put a zero to bring down my zero. And now I'm looking at how many 45s there are in 190. Well, I could get to 1, 2, 3, 4 to get to me to 180. And 4 times 45 is 180 leaving me with 10. But again, I'm not at the magic zero, so I'm gonna put another zero after my decimal, bring it down. How many 45s are there in 100? Well, there's two. Two times 45 is 90. That leaves me with 10. And look what's gonna happen again here. I'm gonna get into that repetitive pattern of having 100 and subtracting 90. So I know that I'm gonna have twos repetitively. So my answer, don't forget to put the decimal point back in the right place. And my answer, therefore, is 18.422 recurring. Now it's your turn. Have a go at these three questions. They get progressively harder. Use the methods we've just learned, and don't forget to put your answer as decimals. Press pause on the video now. Good luck. And there you have it. That is how to divide a decimal number by a decimal. Pretty challenging lesson. Hopefully you understood it. If you didn't, go back and watch it again. If you did, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos to help you with everything you need to know about your year group's maths. But for now, guys, see you in another video. Peace out.